Hi, right, this is Charlie Edwards. Please subscribe to Sporting Icon for the latest boxing news. <laughs> Now this was a very, very good fight and I know coming into this fight a lot of people were writing off Jay Harris with this one with Julio Cesar Martinez, the WBC flyweight world champion. Absolutely brutal, brutal puncher. Hurts you with both hands and has an immovable iron chin. It really does and very, very feared fighter. In fact, uh, he destroyed many, many fighters. Now. Jay Harris wasn't supposed to go a few rounds with this one, even though he was an undefeated 17-0 fighter uh, from Wales. But I think Jay Harris has surprised a lot of people. And I'll tell you right now, he's announced himself to the world. To the world with this performance against Martinez. Now, not that Martinez was ever really in any kind of trouble, but the fact that Jay Harris is all heart and he doesn't stop fighting. He doesn't stop coming forward. He doesn't stop throwing punches. And believe me, he got hurt a lot in this fight. You could see that Martinez was landing some massive, heavy, heavy blows with both hands to the body, to the head. In fact, I think it was round number two that Jay Harris, um, he got like a couple of cuts, one on the side of the nose, one on the um, left eyebrow. And I'm thinking, okay, so Martinez is probably just going to step on the gas now and maybe get Jay Harris out of there. But Jay Harris, my God, man, he's durable. He's really, really durable. And... It could be in part with the fact that Martinez was maybe overconfident, maybe believed in some of his own hype quite a bit and thought that maybe he was going to walk through Jay Harris. I don't think he realised that Jay Harris has got a pretty damn good chin himself. Quite clearly he does, and he's got one hell of a heart. I mean, find me another fighter who can match the heart of Jay Harris, I dare you. Because this guy, he really came to fight, he really did. As of the first couple of rounds, you can, in my opinion, there were... Martinez. Now, actually, speaking of scoring, Matthew Macklin, you are crap at scoring cards. You are absolutely awful. Considering a former fighter on the world level, you would think that he, that, uh, he would know how to score a fight, but he is an absolute pony. He really is. Anyway, Jay Harris, and I'll give away the spoiler, went the distance with Martinez. Martinez, who Beat the living hell out of Charlie Edwards. Charlie Edwards was one of my favourite fighters and he beat the living hell out of him. Okay, so when Charlie Edwards um, was on the floor, he gave him um, an illegal punch for sure. But um, his last fight with Rosales as well, again, a dominant fighter and stopped him in, was it nine rounds if I remember rightly. But Jay Harris wasn't supposed to go the distance here. He really wasn't. And you could see that Jay was very, very tired, but he just kept on going, kept on going and... He's done himself so, so proud. He really has. And I'm really proud of him. Um, I, um, you know, I have to be honest about this one. Now, I thought it might be over in round number 10 when Martinez dropped Harris to the canvas with a couple of uh, body shots, a left hook and a right hook. Um, it was a bit, a bit of a stumble and uh, Jay Harris, he kind of like went down. I thought, okay, so Martinez, who's known as being a predator, he's just going to finish him off now. But Jay... Listen, he was very hurt, but you know what? He didn't back off. He went straight after Martinez and had Martinez on the back foot. Absolutely phenomenal. And he didn't stop punching the entire fight. I mean, this young man has got a lot to be proud of. He really does. Um, of course, Martinez is just the immovable object. I mean, considering he's a flyweight, he looks like an absolute beast. Re uh, truly an absolute beast. Um, he's got one of these um, styles that you know, he would just stand there in the ring and just let you hit him because he ain't moving. And but and Jay Harris was backing him up at times. He really was. But I think that Jay was uh, throwing a lot of wasteful punches. If that's probably the only real critical thing I can say with that, Martinez would have his gloves up in front of his face and Harris would keep on punching the gloves. And he did that time and time and time again. Maybe it's a tactic, a tactic as well because when you get your gloves punched, you can't throw back. So, sure, maybe, maybe it was a tactic. And listen, man, um, I have no idea if Eddie Hearn has already signed up Jay Harris. I'm pretty sure he hasn't. I know he's an MTK fighter. Eddie Hearn, if you haven't signed up Jay Harris, maybe you should. Because he's looking really, really good. I mean, to go the distance with uh, Martinez is something special, isn't it? Really is something special. And I'm real proud of him. I think that uh, Jay Harris, he's announced himself to the world truly announced himself to the world and I'm sure the people over there in Wales will be very, very proud of him. Um, 
as they are with most of their fighters, with the likes of like Kawasaki and uh, many, many other fighters, of course. But either way, Jay Harris didn't do himself any kind of uh, discredit Considering that he was the away fighter in the fact that, uh, you know, he went over to Texas to take on the champion and look what he'd done. But of course, Martinez, he wins by unanimous decision. But listen, man, Jay Harris, take a bow, young man. Take a bow. Drop your thoughts below. Click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.